Congratulations on purchasing your new US Radar Quantum Imager GPR system. The following is a quick start guide intended to get you using the radar quickly and easily. First, turn the power on by pressing the power button on the antenna. Always turn the antenna on before turning on the tablet. Move the cart handle up by pulling the release latch at the base and pulling upwards. Adjust the tablet mount by loosening the lock screw and guiding the surface to a viewable angle. Slide the tablet through the opening at the top and use the straps to lock it in place. Connect the ethernet cable and turn the tablet on. Set up the antenna by touching the settings button in the main menu. In the settings menu, touch antenna, then in the antenna configuration panel, Touch the button to auto configure all channels. When complete, the following message will display. The values in this dialog will vary. Please note you can manually configure antenna settings in place of auto configure. Press the OK button to continue. Press OK at the bottom right to return to the settings menu. Touch the back button to return to the main menu. Remember to auto configure antenna settings before commencing work at each new site. This will allow the antenna to adjust to its environmental conditions and allow for better data collection. From the main menu, touch New Job to begin a survey. The survey settings screen will display. This field indicates the file name that will be assigned to the survey if you choose to record the data. Under Mode, you have a choice of a single line and multi-line. Make sure that the single line option is selected. Multi-line is for acquiring 3D surveys and requires a separate license from US Radar. Press the OK button to begin your survey. Here is the Radar Survey panel. Located at the top are the recording controls. On the left side are the flat gain controls. On the right is the depth scale. Dotted lines represent the surface of the material being scanned. The CH button at the top represents channel selection for dual and triple frequency systems to isolate the data collected from particular bandwidths. These selected algorithms affect how the data appears on the screen. Algorithm Manager is where algorithms can be selected and deselected. It is recommended for first-time users to use automatic gain settings to ensure data is properly rendered. This menu contains the following. Image. This takes a snapshot of the screen. Measure Distance. This allows you to measure distance between points. Depth Calibration. This allows you to calibrate depth. Pass button. This resets the distance counter and marks a new pass. This shows the survey file name. To begin a survey, touch the green play button to start. Push the radar system forward. Data will feed right to left on the screen. Data will only be collected if you move the radar forward. Touch the stop button when you are done recording all the data that you need. Press Save to keep the file. Use the flat gain settings to change the contrast of the data. Here is an image with low flat gain, and therefore low contrast. Here is an image with ideal flat gain. Here is an image with too much flat gain. When you are finished, touch the X button to exit the radar file. From the main menu, click the exit button, then exit the survey session. When exiting the program, you will be asked to shut down the system, or shut it down from the Windows Start menu. Be sure to turn the antenna power switch off at the end of use. Be sure also to charge both the antenna battery and tablet so they are ready for your next survey. This has concluded the Quantum Imager Quick Start Guide.